Good afternoon. I wanted to talk today about moving and indeed tilting adult teeth. A large number of research projects have confirmed that moving adult teeth damages their roots and it actually shortens their natural lifespan, often by no more than a year or two, but sometimes by decades. No one disagrees that this occurs, but the specialty does not really know how to avoid it. Usually the damage is caused by using too much force, and we're not really sure what force is necessary. In the last century, teeth were moved by tilting them to the right position and leaving the root tilted, which required very little force. But um, in the mid-1970s, Dr. Lawrence Andrews, um, an orthodontist in America, developed the six keys to orthodontic alignment, defining them as ideal angulation and relationship of every tooth to every other tooth. Um, this requires moving the teeth with what they call bodily movement. That means you move the apex and the crown together so that the tooth does not tilt. And it requires a force of around 35 to 50 grams per tooth. This is quite a lot and is likely to damage the roots and the surrounding bone as well, especially if it is carried out after the root apex has closed, which happens around about the age of puberty. This is the reason why it is dangerous to move adult teeth. Now, in my opinion, teeth or appliances should never apply a force of more than two or three grams, which is no more than the force of a feather. But this is enough to tilt teeth. Tilting is currently considered very old-fashioned, although it does avoid moving the root apex. You just remove the crown and leave the apex still. And if the apex has closed, which of course it will have done for an adult, it is then not damaged. Interestingly, over time, tilted teeth erupt uh, upright, should I say, spontaneously, despite the biting forces which tend to increase the tilt. This is a natural process that appears to cause no damage to the teeth or the root, especially. Now, this is why I tend to tilt teeth, as I know that I can subsequently um, upright them naturally with little force. And um, we reduce the front position of the front teeth by tilting them forward. Uh, and then we do the same with the side teeth by tilting them outwards. Over time, they will then upright on their own, and that gentle movement causes little or no damage to the roots, even in adults. It relies on the natural ability of the teeth to erupt the, upright themselves, so avoiding root damage. We can then remodel the maxilla and mandible as a whole to the right position with little or no movement of the teeth through the bone. I think I can illustrate how upper incisors can be taken forward without causing any damage by showing you this picture. This girl had quite a sizable overjet, and uh, to treat her, we pushed the upper incisors further forward. As a result, we increased her overjet 
and then taught her to posture forward with her lips together. This naturally uprighted the teeth with no talking force at all, with the result that there was no damage, and this then enabled her incisors to meet appropriately in a class one position, but with the mandible some seven or eight millimeters further forward.